Hey Dennis, today we're going to talk about Otis Skincare. It's a three-part skincare routine that I've been very happy with and want to share uh, my experience with it. So it's three parts. It is the cleaner and then the shave soap and then a moisturizer. And at first there's definitely some sticker shock to it. It's $40, $45, and $65 for all three pieces. But why I believe that's still a pretty good price. So to kind of set the stage here, I've always dealt with you know some skin problems, breakouts, that sort of thing. I never had full blown acne, but you know I can tell when I don't eat well how my skin breaks out. But it's always been you know pretty healthy, and I've definitely tried my share of lower end to higher end skincare routines. I've done the Kiehl's and Jack Black and you know the Matt for Men that I talked about. I've done Tiege and then I've also done some stuff like quick easy stuff uh, in order to get it. But you know the key to keeping healthy skin is obviously routine, washing it every day, cleaning it. What I found with the Otis stuff is that it has ingredients within there to help keep my face really clean and then the habit of cleaning it, shaving with this same product every day and for it to be a hundred milliliter, it's, it's perfect travel size and everything. You know the real like change for me with this was you know I was about a month into using it and my wife was looking at my face and she was like your skin looks really good did you change something and I was like oh yeah I'm trying out a new uh, skin routine and so that was the first time where I was like wow this thing might actually be working and you can kind of see it in the videos too so actually if we get real really close here I did use it today and everything and the and what really helps is you know that final uh, kind of moisturizer on the end, so it's like not shiny. I have a, I have a little bit of shine right now because it's been uh, what eight hours since I put it on. So, but it's it's like a really healthy look to my skin, and I've been really happy with it. So, uh, we'll go through kind of the each of the ingredients in here, show you a little bit of the a close up of the material, and then uh, just kind of wrap things up. Also, I took a sharpie to these because on the packaging. It had a big one, two, three on it, and I really like that because I just want a quick, easy indicator of like which one am I going for first, especially because these look identical. Obviously, it says face wash versus the shave cream, but I like that it had a big one, so I took a Sharpie and did one, two, three on there. So that's probably my first thing to say about you know any product improvements. So first we have the daily face wash. It is a $40 bottle, and after three months, I'm still maybe a little bit less than halfway on here, so you definitely get your money's worth for how long it lasts. I think if there's one place to not really skimp out on, it's a face wash. You want something to, to take away the dirt and keep things really clean. This one cleans and exfoliates, and then even if I just use the face wash, I never really deal with dryness. It does have black tea extract and aloe vera and then tea tree oil, but it also has lactic acid to like really clean this stuff off. There will even be days where I don't shave, but I still use a daily face wash every day, and I really like the way that it feels. On all three of the products, there is a little bit of a, I wouldn't say flowery fragrance, but there's a little bit of a fragrance to it. It's not like a synthetic, but it does have, I just, I think I just describe it as like a French. It smells like a French uh, cleaner, a French moisturizer. It's not too heavy. Like my wife doesn't always notice it when I use it, but sometimes if she's like really up close, she'll smell it. So it's not so overpowering that it overpowers like your deodorant or your cologne, but it does have that just, I want. I just want to put that out there because it's not totally scent free. But applying any level of cologne, it totally, you know, it goes away. You don't smell this over that. And then step two, we have the shave cream. This one did take some getting used to because I'm used to like the foamy, like the big sudsy Santa Claus beard foam of shaving. And this one is very subtle. You can see like I can't even really work up a lather when I really work it in, but it does still give a really nice protective layer of shaving and I've kind of adapted to this. Now when I go back to my old shaving soaps, I kind of feel like it's a little bit overkill to have so much volume in the soap. This soap really leaves my skin feeling smooth. So I wash it, I hit it with the protective shave cream. It has very similar ingredients to the face wash, but it also has shea butter, apricot stone oil, and then it has the aloe vera and tea tree oil again. And the tea tree oil is for like skin purification and to help reduce redness. And I do see a little bit of redness when I shave, you can kind of see it in the video, but then what really finishes the whole thing off is to put on the moisturizer. So we'll talk about the moisturizer. It is smaller, so these two are 100 milliliters, this one is 75 milliliters, but this one is also lasting quite a while and I can feel, I'm like, you know, I weighed it, it's about half of what it was when I started. But the only thing this is really missing is a SPF. You do wanna have like 25 or 30 SPF on your face to help re you know, reduce your risk of skin cancer and keep things really healthy. So that's probably the only thing this is missing, but I still, 
you know, you can see I only do two pumps a day. It's enough to get my entire face. The, the a little bit goes a long way with this stuff. It leaves my skin feeling really hydrated, but it's also non-oily. They have anti-aging ingredients in there. That comes from partially the hyaluronic acid that helps with long-term hydration, which is also some of the anti-aging, which helps with the long-term hydration and smoothness of the skin, peptide, and then vitamin E, aloe vera, and allotonin, which also comes back in to help reduce the redness. So even if I do get a little bit of redness from shaving, because after all you are, slicing your face and your hair with a blade. What I really see a lot of, of the like razor burn with other stuff is it'll happen right around here and a little bit on the chin. But as, I mean, as you can see, it, co it totally goes away right after putting this moisturizer on. And so Otis kind of came out of nowhere. This one, I think you guys recommended it to me. And so I, you know, picked them up and I'm really happy with them. So for the past couple years, I've been like, just kind of jumping around and testing a lot of different things. I'm gonna try and make it more of a thing this year to stick with a certain routine for you know a month or two and really test things out. If you guys are interested in this sort of stuff, I'm curious, I know this is a little bit higher end, so um, maybe I can revisit Tiege next or something. But overall, Otis Skincare, I'll put links below so you can check them out. It's definitely like an underknown brand. It seems like they were like heavily into women's stuff before, uh, but I'm into Otis. So if you have any questions about it, I've been using it for a few months, I don't know that I'll use this stuff up before I jump to something else just because of the nature of testing things out, but I'm really impressed. Uh, you know, good for travel, keeping my gym bag, and keeping my skin looking very good and wife approved, most importantly. And so there you have it, gents. That is Otis Skincare. I'll put links below so you can check them out. And if you have any questions, I'll answer below. Uh, always open on DMs, and I'll be down in the comments. Until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier.